Google applications allow collaboration. For example, Google Docs files can be shared with specific people and groups. The link of a Google Docs file can also be distributed. Anyone with that link can be given a viewer, commenter, or editor access. To share our files, we can go to the upper right corner of the screen and click the Share button. On this pop-up box, we can add people by entering their specific email addresses, and we can also add a group's email address. For example, I will add another teacher to help me complete this document. I will just simply type in his email address and choose what type of access he will get. It can be viewer, commenter, or editor. Since he needs to edit this document, therefore I will select editor. I can notify him and I can send a customized message. This will appear if the user I am sharing with is outside of the school domain. Let us explore other options on the share pop-up window. I can change the access of other people on this document by clicking the drop-down arrow and choosing the appropriate option. We can give temporary access until a specific date and time. We can also transfer the ownership of this file to another user who is from the organization if we select the make owner option. We can also remove his access. Remember, any changes done here are still pending. So we need to press the save button to commit the change. Click the gear symbol to go to share with people settings. Here we can limit the capabilities of the editor. Download, print, and copy options can also be removed to viewers and commenters of the document. At the bottom of the pop-up window, we can see the get link area. By default, the file can only be opened by those who have been added. We can change this by clicking the change link. Here we can see the link of the file which we can copy and share with others whose email addresses are not manually entered above. For example, I will choose the school domain and make anyone with this link as editor. I can choose viewer access only to avoid everyone editing the document. Once done setting the access, copy the link and press the done button. The link can now be distributed so others can view it. Those who were given editor access in the share with people area can still edit the document. I hope this video helped you in understanding the sharing function of Google Docs.